hi everyone so for today's video tutorial i am going to show you how to work the i cord edge and how to finish it for the maker vest so in the pattern you will receive the uh, pattern um, information and everything will be explained in detail but uh, for those of you who have a little bit of trouble understanding, here is the video. So uh, you will um, start picking up stitches in the middle of the neckline in the back. So when you join, it will be seamless, but it will be hidden either way. Uh, so what, what you'll do is uh, with the suggested needle that is in the pattern, you will start picking up and knitting the stitches along the edge here, and the neckline in the back, and then along the side of the front, go all the way down. These stitches will be live, and you'll just place them on this needle, go in the back until you have made a full circle back to where you started. So for today's um, example, I wanted to just uh, be almost complete so that I can show you how I work the I, I cord edge and to show you how I finish uh, in the uh, closest possible seamless uh, way. So uh, what you will do is knit one stitch regular way and I do suggest you work this I cord slightly a uh, bit more tight, tighter than than um, you normally would so and then for these two stitches next two stitches you will knit them together through the back loop okay and then you will place both stitches back and let's do it again knit one normal way knit two together through the back loop place them back on your working left hand needle and repeat until you have worked all the stitches except one last stitch and I will show you what I mean here in just one second. Sorry, my hands are a bit veiny today since I just got done with a quick morning run. So here we go, uh, last stitch remains. So what you will have is basically three stitches remaining. So what you'll do is just place them all together. You will cut your yarn. I usually do it about 10, 15 centimeters, but or longer, whichever. Cut it. Thread your tapestry needle. You'll need a big one for this chunky yarn, obviously. Uh, and this is um, this is my way. This is my uh, way of doing it. I, I found because I love I cord and I work with it a lot. And I found a way to do it where it's really simple and almost invisible join. Oh, sorry. So what you will do? Step one. Thread your yarn through this last unworked stitch that was picked up, okay? Pull your yarn through and then go back to this stitch, but do it from under, you see, like that. Hold it nicely and gently until you do the next step so you can kind of put, put together, like tighter. And then, you see, this is where you started, but you wanna work through this first V. Pull your needle through both of these legs. Pull it through. Now, hold this stitch up here so it doesn't, you know, unravel. So, and put it to pull it together. And then put the needle in the top of that other stitch. Pull it through, and there you go. That's one step. This is one step. And then from under on this side, Pull the yarn through and then found a second V, which you, which will be right there next to it. 
and do the same pull it through and then on the top of that stitch and through and pull tight and look almost invisible there's like a little bump there but this will all be um, kind of ironed out once you uh, block your vest and there it is and this is how you can do every single uh, I cord edging whether it's two straight two, two stitches sorry three stitches four stitches it's all the same and then you just thread your you know hide your yarn as it if you would the yarn edge through here and super easy thanks for watching